everyone, this is Miss Patty, and today we will be making rainbow in a bag. Do you love rainbows? Well, I do too, which is why I thought it would be really fun to make this project. First, you will take your piece of cardstock or construction paper and you will put it inside of the gallon sized Ziploc bag. Once the sheet of paper is inside the Ziploc bag, you will then take some red paint blue paint, and yellow paint. And you will put them on a spoon. You will reach towards the back of the paper, at the bottom of the bag, and you will put, you will put your paint onto the piece of paper. You can use the outside of the bag for help in getting the paint onto the paper. Continue adding color, spoonfuls of color, until you get all the way across the bottom of your paper. Don't worry about being precise. This is art and art is fun. You can do anything you want. Let's put some more paint, shall we? Next, you will slide the bag closed and you, then you will take a piece of tape so you can seal along the edge of the bag, just in case. Okay, I think it, I think it a bag. So you'll place the tape across the end of the bag with the seal making sure to leave room for the other side. And you can just squeeze those ends shut. And now your child can play with their fingers in a mess-free way, spreading paint inside the bag. So you can draw pictures. In the paint? You can draw pictures in the paint. Yep. And you can mix colors. If you only use red, yellow, and blue, your child can learn how to mix colors, such as red and yellow to make orange. Or blue and yellow to make green. Really any combination of colors can happen when you when you mix the colors up.
once your child has finished with the activity, you can take the uh, you you can take your new piece of newly created piece of art out of the bag and let it dry on top of the bag. Enjoy. Ah. Yeah, you just move the paint around. Good. Smush the paint all around. Push. Like you can draw. Go like you're drawing with your fingers. Yeah. You can you can do whatever art you'd like with this. Look what happens when you mix yellow and blue. What color is that? Green. It's green. Very good. And what happens when you mix blue and red? Can you mix the blue and red a little bit? Orange. Oh, no, oh, hold on. What color is that? Oh. Green. What color is that? It's a white. Red and blue make white. Purple. Yeah. And what about red and yellow? Orange. Orange. Isn't that fun? And you can draw all over it and you can draw in the paint. And then you'll have a special art project later. What do all of these together make? What? What do they make? Oh, let's see. Art in a bag. Wow. You can keep going. Oh, look, do this. Would that help? If you'd like. I mean, I like to smush. What do you like to do? I like to kind of like do this. Oh. That's a, that's a Let me see, how is it looking now? <gasps> wow, that looks like tie-dye. That is so cool. Look at that nice big spot where it's all green. And then you got some orange, and we have our purple here. Where is, and, and also we can mix some Yes, colors. you can mix your colors. To get colors? Yes, you can. Well, how do I draw whatever I want if stuff is in the way? Um, well, you just draw what you want in here. You can use your new. See? You can, you can draw in there. See? I mean, it looks like you might want to spread your paint all the way across, huh? What's a way we can spread our paint across? Oh, yeah. very good. Try to see what's in the bag. Well, we're not going to open the bag until after. Look at all this different art. Should we see what it looks like when we take it out of the bag? Yeah. 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 Ta da! A beautiful piece of art.